Hello there guys, Sleep here. Uh, today I've got another tutorial for you that I've, well, it's part of the uh, list of things that I told you I was going to do in my upcoming tutorials. So, what we're going to do today is an external overlay um, in DirectX using C Sharp. Now, uh, this is a very cool method which I've seen used quite a lot recently. Um, and first of all, I'd like to give big credits to Recruit and Known Cheats for coming up with this, or at least he's the one that um, made me aware of it because it's a really cool method which a lot of people are using and it's most of the time it's got to be undetectable so I've seen this used in games like Modern Warfare 3 undetectable um, any Call of Duty pretty much and a bunch of other games so I'm not guaranteeing you this method is undetectable but it's definitely worth knowing about although it has got a couple of uh, problems with it so you should have seen it or you probably have seen it in my previous um, in my previous one of my previous videos should have seen a version a more complicated version of this uh, now we're gonna do this one and then in the end I'll give you my complex version source code um, which should be um, or at least I'll give you this version because it's almost the same except for a couple of differences but here we go as you can see here you can draw across across here on any game so I'm gonna show you this first thing and I'm gonna run a simple game because I don't wanna um, stress fraps too much so I'm just gonna show but this works on anything. I'll show you another example in a second. Uh, so I let that run. It's just crying. It's going to run fine. So what you do is, first thing you do is click here, choose the window you want to run. So if you've got multiple windows, just try both. It doesn't really matter. So as you can see, look at this. So here's a crosshair. And bear in mind, everything you see here is what we're going to do in this tutorial. So some bits of code I will be giving you it because it's just too much for us all to write and you're not learning anything new but um, so as you can see we've got medium there's a bigger version there's large and why would you want to do to use this well um, from my experience um, some games do have crap crosshairs um, and I like to use my own when I can um, the beauty of this method is um, this thing that we're going to do today is absolutely 100% anti um, it can't be um, for example, I can't explain this properly, but for, if you're playing a cheap protected game, there's absolutely no chance of you getting caught because all this does is um, draw a fake screen on your desktop and and then put a crosshair somewhere around there where you want it to be put. So, some uh, just going to go over some quick problems with this compatibility. It means that this will only work on Windows 7, Windows Vista. I don't know about you Windows 8 users, you'll have to try it. Um, it won't work on Windows XP because it doesn't have uh, the Aero um, visual enhancement system, so that's what it's called, I think. Uh, you know the Aero graphics and things, if it doesn't have that, it won't work because it's working with that. Now, this is using Manage DirectX, which is, uh, well, it's no longer supported, but we've got enough to work with um, to do what we want, really. Um, and uh, the other problem is this will only work in windowed mode, so if you want you can still run your game in you know full resolution although that will be more demanding you can still run it in full resolution but you cannot do it in full screen that is one of the setbacks so with that in mind this with this method of drawing onto the screen you can do anything like uh, ESPs and anything like that without getting caught in quite a few games and that is the 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 great advantage of this method in comparison to using the C++ DirectX hook most of the time you will get caught with that unless you come up with your own um, hidden method this way you will be um, hidden in most situations and you won't get caught um, unless they pick up on read process memory which um, a lot of time from what I've found out a lot of the time you don't get caught with just that but some games will still screw you over anyways enough about that uh, as you can see here um, I'm just going to show you another quick example so I'm going to open a Windows calculator just to show you the extent of how much this works. So I've got a calculator up, boom. Uh, I'm just going to run this again. As you can see, this works in almost anything. Um, the only things that I've seen this not working is there's very few. It will work on absolutely any application. Um, there's very the only thing I was messing around with is Windows Media Player, which it didn't work in. But other than that, it works on almost anything. Okay, so. The other re big reason why I want you to do this because I want you to know um, about this method before we do the ESP tutorial, which will be my next one. Uh, hopefully, a couple of days after this one, I should have it out. But it's a lot more code to write, so I need to plan it properly. 
so that is uh, why I want you to know about the overlay method um, and all that so I really if you're interested in doing a C sharp ESP I highly recommend you do that even if you don't do it um, a C sharp ESP the code that we're going to use for that is going to be almost the same as a C++ one which I'll do a while after so hopefully um, hopefully you enjoy that I'm just gonna have a quick check on something I don't know if I added yeah so there's different colors and everything like that so that should be good enough um, yeah, so uh, hopefully uh, you want to follow this. If not, um, you know, that's fine. Um, there have been some systems that I found out, uh, some people told me that it doesn't work on, but there's very few systems. I think it's something to do with DirectX. But still attempt it, and it should work just fine for you. It works in both 32-bit and 64-bit, uh, although uh, there have been some mixed uh, replies, but we'll have to figure that out. So here are some of the things that you're going to need. You're going to need uh, for this is you're going to need obviously the files required folder which should include a few things um, it should be in your description right now uh, or if you're on my site it will be on the attachments um, you need I'm just gonna just gonna go here uh, here's, here's what you need so you need Microsoft DirectX SDK uh, 2007 uh, August or, or <laughs> August or June um, that version will do fine um, so I'll put a link in the description for that as well. If you can't find, if my link's not working anymore or something, just uh, Google this, Microsoft DirectX SDK 2007. Remember, June or August version will be fine. Uh, and then you need Visual Studio 2010 or 2012, which is new, and I just downloaded that, but I won't be using it for this. Uh, C Sharp Express Edition, or the complete version, which is Ultimate. And your own background, if you want to put your own background in the form, but that's up to you. Okay. So let's start the tutorial. Um, remember, this will only work in windowed mode and stuff like that, but it can be very good. Um, as you've, uh, as you've seen uh, on my recent video, my ESP and Aimbot, uh, that we'll be using this method for that, at least for the first tutorial, and then we use the DirectX SDK um, um, SDK, uh, not SDK, sorry, um, hook, um, DirectX hook, C++. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start, um, oops, this is something you don't want to see yet. Uh, we're going to start off a uh, visual, um, start Visual Studio 2010. So remember that SDK is quite a big file, so you may have to pause for a second and wait for it to be fully downloaded. So make sure you download that um, and pause until you've got it um, fully downloaded and installed. So first thing you want to do is you want to go Visual C Sharp, and you want to start a, a Windows Forms application. Okay, so I'm going to call this C Sharp DirectX. Uh, oops, DirectX Crosshair Overlay uh, YouTube because I'm doing it on. Oh shit, I can't spell YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, there you go. Um, and that's it, pretty much. And then we start a new project. What the hell? What have I done? Oh, I don't think I can put C Sharp. Uh, sharp. Oh come on! These guys complain about everything, don't they? Uh, C sharp. There you go. Obviously, you guys don't need to put YouTube, put your, whatever you like. So we'll let it create as usual. And I would say this is probably a uh, let's think a probably a three out of ten. It's going to be quite a straightforward thing. What I want you to know mostly is how to create the overlay, which is the key to running C sharp uh, Manage DirectX, which is beautiful stuff so um, and it's incredibly simple that's the beauty of this it's incredibly simple so first thing I want to create is our main interface so we're gonna go create everything uh, actually and label everything properly because that's always important otherwise you complicate things for yourself so let's call this one um, main uh, form and um, and I'm just gonna label this external direct X uh, crosshair. You can call it whatever you like. Probably a relevant name would be great though. So, first things we want to go and do is open this toolbox right here, and we're going to get a couple of labels. So, uh, label, label, label. Uh, there you go. So, let's put a label here. And we're going to go. Um, so, um, title, label. Uh, and we're going to call this external crosshair. Obviously, this all this is is just making it look half decent. Uh, you guys don't have to do this, but you know, it's just I like to do this because I know a lot of you will be interested in it. 
Uh, so just like go any game because that's exactly what it is. So you do that, and then uh, I'm gonna put a black background on mine. But you guys feel free to put your own image. But that means you probably have to change the uh, text colors and stuff. But th that's mine there. So I'm gonna go here, change this to white text for color becomes white. Uh, it's gonna go there. White, beautiful stuff. Um, and then let's increase our font to something like. Let's click him. Uh, let's say what 14. I want to check what font I'm using on mine. Um, calling it um, ba -ba 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 -ba. font is 24 is what I used, which is what we're going to be using apparently. Um, there you go. So I may need to increase the size of this a tiny bit. So what's the size of mine? It's uh, so 512 by 405. That's what we're going to be doing. 512 by 405. 405. There you go, that's the size of our thing. And then once we got this, we're gonna go. Um, so I just gotta sort my stuff out here on my second monitor quickly. Sorry about that. Uh, and then we're gonna create a um, a drop down menu, which is a combo box, I believe. Let's look for it. Let's look for it. Uh, where have I got that? Do, 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 do. Combo box. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Fell right on it. So, combo box is what we're going to use here, and we're going to go um, put that there. Just co make a copy of this. I think the titles you don't really need to label properly, but so I'm going to call this one uh, app slash game window uh, window, and let's reduce the size of this to 18 should be good enough. And there you go, that's about right. Um, and can I increase the size of this? Yeah, that's good. Uh, I don't remember how I make this read only. I'm just trying to see if I can. Because we don't want this writable. Uh, comma box read only. Read, 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 read only. Uh, locked. I think it's locked. Um, I'm just going to have a look. No, it's not. Crap. False. Um, where the frick is that? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I'll check that out in a second. Don't really matter. You guys can find that out. It should be quite straightforward. So, you then have this, and you're going to uh, write this here and put it there. So, make a copy of that, and I'm going to call this one status. It's just to, so we know if our hack is on or off, whatever. Um, and then we'll create another label. Uh, I'm going to call it off. Just put it in capitals. It doesn't really matter again. Uh, gonna do that. Um, then we're gonna go full color, and we're gonna go for lime, which is a cool one. There it is, and that will go in nicely with the black background. And then we're gonna we're gonna put a bunch of crosshairs on this. So um, let's just put a bunch of buttons here. So button is at the top. Let's put a couple of buttons here. Uh, let's make them a specific size because we we definitely need to be right on this now. So uh, 51 by 46 is what we're going for. 51 by 46. 51 uh, size 51. 46. And you'll understand why in a second when we do a specific thing. Uh, the location also has to be specific. It has to be 28. 28 by 170, I believe. Yep. So let's make sure it's that one. So 28 by 170. And that's where our first one has to be. So let's make sure we level this here. And that should be about right. Um, 20 by 170. I'm happy with that. Uh, you then have status. And we're going to do a bunch more buttons here. Um, so just copy a bunch of buttons. And these also have to be very specific sizes for a specific reason, which you'll find out. So second button is. So let's just get this bit out of the way. And then we can get on with the... Uh, with that part, so I'm going to do copy and pasting, but you guys uh, should be fine to do just a quick, um, just a quick um, write down of what, I, of what I've got. Um, it's really hot today in England. It's really stupid. It's supposed to be cold here most of the time, but I'm trying to do this tutorial, it's really hot. Um, so here we go, and do 215 by 170 for this one, and. <clears throat> And 278 by 170 for this one. 278. And the last one is. 
oops that's not the last one we need another one after that and I didn't really have to do all these uh, different crosses the only reason why I did all these is